See you, buddy. This was that whiskey? Yeah. It's... You can drink it and then you can also put it in your car to run. That's a loud coffee. Finishing up in Savannah Cat, so we're getting ready to leave. We're gonna start the Boulevard Loop today. So we're gonna go to Sullivan. We'll see if we can make it all the way down there. What did you think of Savannah Cat? Good, quiet. Quiet? I like the downtown. It was nice. Yeah, easy to get around. Yeah. Yeah, the traffic was definitely a lot different than Vientiane. Okay. We'll see you on the road. On our way out of Savannah Cat, I spotted another piece of street art, so I couldn't help but stop and take a quick video of this. For breakfast, we stopped at a Vietnamese restaurant and found a place where they served nice iced and hot tea, so I had to try both. They were both pretty good. I couldn't tell if it was a black or a green. It felt almost like a chrysanthemum type tea, but it was pretty tasty and I think I preferred the iced tea for the warm muggy morning. And for breakfast we had a nice bowl of pho with some canome and it was all pretty tasty. Our first stop outside of Savannah Cat was a town called Nepong, and Nepong is famous for their grilled chicken and Lao whiskey. Looks good. And they have different, are these different parts of the yeah. chicken? Yeah. They look like the I believe kidney and the heart. Yeah, it looks good. It smells good. Guy Yang, uh -huh. grilled chicken. Uh -huh. Dried beef. And some rice cake. And some dried fish. That's what I'm talking about. A Lao whiskey. This is Lao whiskey? Yeah, it's famous in Morocco. This is called Lao. You can drink it and then you can also put it in your car to run. Really? Like gasoline. So this is the famous one, but then this is also, is this also Kala? So this has some kind of herbs in it. Yeah. For flavor. Some, I think this is a something this thing or something. Oh, okay. Just put all this is to make them changing color. Yeah. You know this kind of wood is changing all the color of the alcohol. Yeah, when you buy just this and you put this in there and they turn in the color like that. Okay. They is the wood and they turn it into yeah. just like whiskey when you put it in a oak barrels. Right? Yeah. Interesting. A jug of raw whiskey. Okay. Okay. Grilled chicken and raw whiskey. Just outside of Nepal, we made the turn to the east to go to Salavan, down to the Bolivan Loop. And we had our first encounter with the Burnian or the smoky season. This time of the year, when it's really dry, people burn loose vegetation and brush and so it gets really smoky and you see a lot of these fires. What does she have? She has this palm. Oh that's the palm fruit? Yeah palm. Palm mm. pus, pus. Okay we'll try it. For two dollar fifty cents. 
เด้ออ This is what the pop fruit looks like in its raw form before it's taken out of its seed. Hey, folks! So we made it to Sullivan. We got the the goats behind me, and we're gonna go to the monument here. This is the famous memorial in Sullivan. We're gonna stop in and take a look. And we're going to walk over to this other monument. Somebody's got their cow, calf tied to the bench. Let's see what we got going on over here. You can see the monument where we were just a minute ago. It's back there behind me. And this is the other monument. I don't know what this is. Looks like a. I thought it was like a tree with the elephants around it. Yeah, it's nice. Nice area. Sullivan's a nice city. It's very scenic. Very green, even right now during the dry season. Yeah, this is a really nice area. So we are on our way from Savannah Cat, and now we're gonna continue down to. We're gonna try and find a guest house in the Todd Low area, next to the waterfall. Let's see if we can do that. See you, buddy. See you later. Let's check our, our guest house that we found. This is a Boulevard garden. Didn't book ahead. Normally I don't think you really need to. We've had pretty good luck with just looking for places the day of. So we booked this. We came in, took a look around and got a room here booked for the night. Not bad. One room with breakfast is 450,000 kip. Without breakfast, it's I think 300,000 kip. So $15 with without breakfast, which is probably the way we're gonna go. And we can pick something up tomorrow morning. So we got in today. We're going to rest. And just relax. We'll re relax this evening. This is not far from Tadlow Waterfall. So we're going to make our way to Tadlow probably tomorrow. Before we drive to Puxong.
that's where we're staying on the right. This is a neat place. It's kind of a traditional Lao design with the with the house up on the wooden stilts. We got our beds, mosquito net. No air condition, but this has a fan. And actually it's pretty pretty nice up here on the Boulevard Plateau. Shower. And then check this out. So we got a balcony with a nice view. Over the right. While we're walking through the guest house grounds, we'll talk a little bit about the region that we're in. The Boulevard Plateau, we're at the northern end of the Boulevard here in the Todd Low Village. This uh, Boulevard Plateau area is unique within the country of Laos. It's three to 4,000 feet above sea level. And so also has very nice weather because of that. Typically the weather is much cooler here than it is in the rest of the country. And due to the French colonial rule, the, there's historically um, coffee plantations that are grown in this region, as well as other agricultural crops. So it's pretty interesting, pretty neat. And there's also a lot of waterfalls in this area because of the geography. So in this guest house we're walking through, you can see you can also rent a tent, uh, alternately to a room and pay 100,000 kip or about $5 a night. So a pretty good option, depending on what you want to do. Yeah, it's a nice, nice guest house, nice area, and we'll be exploring the rest of the boulevard over the next couple of days. On this second day, we're going to go from Tadlo all the way through Bubblebound Plateau and end in Baxa. The next morning we went and took a nice hike around Toddlow Waterfall, which was pretty amazing since we were the only ones there. So I think we caught the tail end of the busy season in mid-February. Earlier in the winter, I believe it's much busier, but it was very quiet when we were there. After Tadla, we made our way down through the Bolivan Loop to the city of Baxon, where our first stop was a place called Agro Veg Farm, which was pretty interesting and a pretty fun stop. Yeah, so we're in Baxon. Wow. And it's found a agro vegetable and flower garden farm. So we're gonna check this place out. First we're gonna get something to eat. So we found this really neat cafe. First of all, the weather here is perfect. It's 25 degrees Celsius, like 77 Fahrenheit. Oh man, it's perfect weather here. It feels like we're in California. So you can see behind me the cafe and the gardens. We'll take a walk over there. There's nobody here this morning. Still pretty quiet. We're gonna sit out on the patio. We got some koi fish in the fish pond. And we're gonna enjoy our 
break here before we go to go find some coffee in Buxong. Buxong is the coffee capital of Laos. This is where all the coffee plantations are. So our goal is to try and find some coffee, a good coffee shop, and maybe do a tour of a coffee plantation. Yeah, they've got a pretty good menu. Soup and salad. So what did you order? You ordered some... Uh, did you get the curry? No, I see my mind. I ordered some uh, pork jerky. Oh. Mudat deal or silot. Silot. Yeah, in Thailand, mudat deal. Mudat deal. Okay, yeah. now I know how to say it. And Lao is silot. <laughs> silot. But you got the pork. Yeah, I got the stir fry ginger with pork fry on ginger. the top. Over rice and, the, and sunny side up. You can see the price is really reasonable 35,000 kip. Yeah. And yours is 55,000? Yeah, I yeah. ordered a small one. Yeah, really they have two one. different prices for you, big or small. Oh, okay. Yeah. So family size or personal size? Yeah. Yeah, yes. good menu. I'm sure and all these... I even have the hot pot for you. This is a hot oh, pot. So you can do hot pot? Yeah, all this section is a hot pot section. I bet all these vegetables are from oh. their garden. Yeah, it is. Grow. So yeah. I bet it's all good, fresh. Yeah. We've got our cappuccino on. And our chrysanthemum tea. That's your... Oh, and here's my ginger pork. Ginger pork. That looks good. For 30,000 keep. Oh. Mm, that deal. Yeah. The pork jerky. Yeah. That it's looks good. good. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. Is that good? So after lunch, we took a walk around the various greenhouse gardens, which was pretty interesting for myself, growing up on a farm. Pretty neat to see how they had everything arranged. What is this growing here? Grapes. Those are grapes? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> they grow grapes here too, yeah. huh? Waste any water. Yeah. Huh. This is after it's grown a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty. After a tour of the Agro Veg Farm, we went to one of the local coffee shops. This place is called Jai Coffee, and in my opinion, it is one of the premier coffee shops in the area. We had a nice talk with the owner who is very passionate about his coffee, has many years in the industry, so he talked to us about the various varieties of coffee that they serve and his business model which involves working with the local coffee farmers in the region as well as growing various varieties of coffee. So this was nice. It was a nice stop. It was really interesting and educational. Talking to the owner, 
I found that he actually grows some of his own coffee in the back here, which is pretty nice. This time of the year isn't the best time to look at coffee beans in production, but it was interesting to see his model where he grows the coffee, roasts his own coffee beans, then goes through a production of the coffee for a sale. So you could ship this and distribute out to customers but can also serve coffee here locally where he has the, the various varieties to choose from. That was pretty interesting. The best part of the stop was that we got a tip on one of the local waterfalls to go to. That is Tad Champi. So this is where we're going next. And actually it's kind of neat because we're driving through a coffee plantation on the way to the waterfall. Take a nice walk down to the waterfall, Champi waterfall. There's the waterfall. Right. So we're walking down to the waterfall. And we got coffee all around us. You can see the coffee beans. That's a lot of coffee. That was fun. Went to the waterfall, Champi waterfall. Now we're walking back through the coffee plantation through the wild coffee growing. Oh, check this out. This is a termite mound. The termites growing in there. Did you find something? Oh, that's the hard way. We just came from the easy way and we missed a sign that said, be careful. It looks like there's a shortcut. You want to go straight down. Yeah, that doesn't look very safe. Yeah, that doesn't look very safe. Good we went the easy way. Yeah, we went the easy way. Copper lot, eh? I think I'm going to eat it. Copper lot. Copper lot. Copper lot. Well, they even have a, a resort here. You can stay right here. Um, even now, that look like this. Yeah, you can even stay here at the waterfall. Look at that. That's some bamboo. It already feels cooler. It must be close to the waterfall. For just like a dirt, like a walking trail. Yeah, walking trail is what they had to go up so to the left is a viewpoint. We can go take a look. To the right is a zip line. To the left is a viewpoint. Look at that. Wow. It's nice.
Hello everyone, we're going to end our video here at Todd Fawn Waterfall. Thanks again for joining us on this adventure through the Boulevard Plateau. In our next video, we'll continue the trip to Baxé and the rest of Southern Lao before we make our way back up to the Boulevard Plateau. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next video.